Today, I'm gonna show you how to send your projects from Premiere Pro into DaVinci Resolve so you can take full advantage of DaVinci Resolve's color grading abilities. And then I'm gonna show you how to send that project back to Premiere Pro so you can finalize your video. Let's take a look. So there are a lot of Premiere Pro users who have expressed interest in DaVinci Resolve for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they're tired of paying the monthly subscription for Adobe Creative Cloud. Maybe it's because they're tired of Premiere Pro crashing on them all the time. There's just, there's a whole bunch of reasons. And then there's a bunch of people who want to maybe color grade in DaVinci Resolve because let's face it, when it comes to color grading, DaVinci Resolve blows Premiere Pro out of the water. Say what you want about the rest of it, but for color grading, you just, you can't argue with me on this. Whatever your reasons are for being interested in DaVinci Resolve, this video is for you. We're gonna send a project from Premiere Pro into DaVinci Resolve, do a little bit of color grading, and then send that project back to Premiere Pro so we can finalize the video. I've already got a timeline set up in Premiere Pro. I'm gonna go ahead and play you the sequence right now. This is just the clips thrown in there. There's no grading on it. There is some sound design, but nothing's been leveled out or anything like that. Now, I wish I could say that I went out and shot all that stuff and I made that very, very pretty looking sequence, but that's actually all stock footage. I got it from ArtGrid. It's where I get all of my stock footage from. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description. If you sign up for one of their plans, you'll actually get two free months, which is super, super cool. But for now, let's go ahead and export this as an XML so we can bring it into DaVinci Resolve. All we're going to do is come up to File. We're going to go down to Export. I'm gonna go down to Final Cut Pro XML and click on that. Don't be thrown off by the fact that it says Final Cut Pro XML. This is just an XML file. It's completely compatible with DaVinci Resolve. I don't know why they put Final Cut Pro in there, but you know, whatever. Next thing we're gonna do is choose where to put our file and we're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call this Moody Day no grade. The reason why I'm calling it Moody Day is because the title of the story in Art Grid was Moody Day at the Beach, and I figured let's just keep it the same. And then go ahead and hit save. And open up DaVinci Resolve. Now the first thing you'll see when you open up DaVinci Resolve is the project manager. What we're gonna do is click on new project. We're gonna call this Moody Day color grade and hit create. And if your version of DaVinci Resolve is anything like mine, you're probably gonna open up to the cut page and we actually wanna be in the edit page. So let's go ahead and move over to there. And once the edit page is all loaded up, we usually would go into project settings and set the frame rate and resolution and all that. But all of that was set in Premiere Pro and it's in the XML. So we don't really have to do anything as far as that's concerned. So all we're gonna do is come up to file import timeline, import AAF EDL XML. We're gonna go to the folder where our file is and this is Moody Day No Grade. We're gonna select that XML and we're gonna hit open. And then the only thing that I'm gonna do on this screen here is change my timeline name to Moody Day Graded. And then I'm gonna hit okay. And you'll see that my sequence has been imported into DaVinci Resolve. We've got all of our clips here. We've got all of our sound design. Everything is here. Now, all we're gonna be doing right now is color grading. So let's go ahead and hit color. And that brings up the color page. And what I'm gonna do is just a really quick grade. There's a lot that you can do in DaVinci Resolve when it comes to color grading, but we're gonna do something super simple for the sake of this tutorial. So the first thing I'm gonna do is throw all of these clips into a group. So I'm just gonna select all the clips, right click and go add into new group, hit okay. I'm gonna come up to group post clip. I'm gonna come into my open effects and scroll all the way down to the bottom. 
I'm gonna grab my film convert plugin and I'm gonna drop it onto that node. I just did a whole video about the film convert plugin. You should definitely check that out because this thing is absolutely amazing. Now, I have no idea what camera this footage was shot on. That information, unfortunately, was not available in ArtGrid, so I'm just gonna keep this profile as standard sRGB. I'm gonna come down to my film settings and I'm gonna choose my film stock. And then we're gonna come back over to edit and you'll see that now we've got a nice filmic look with some film grain, some nice contrast. I'm really liking the way that this looks. I think we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the deliver page and I'm gonna scroll over until I find Premiere XML and I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna choose my location, Premiere to DaVinci Workflow, select folder. Then I'm gonna hit add to render queue and I'm gonna start my render. And once that render is completed, we can go ahead and exit out of DaVinci Resolve. We don't need that anymore. And back in Premiere Pro, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, create a new bin so we can keep everything organized. And we're gonna call this graded footage. I'm gonna double click on that to open it up. And I'm gonna hit right click I'm gonna go to import. I'm gonna come into my folder. I'm gonna hit Moody Day graded because that is the XML that we exported from DaVinci Resolve and we're gonna hit open. And down here in the bottom right is the new timeline. Now for some reason, whenever I do this, it doubles up the audio. I don't know why it does that, but in order to save myself some time, I'm just gonna highlight all these clips, hit Control C to copy. I'm gonna come back over to my original timeline. I'm gonna make sure that my playhead is at the very beginning of the timeline and I'm gonna hit Control V to paste and that's gonna put all of my graded footage in the timeline. And then once we're done with that, I just gotta do a little bit of audio work, add some fade in and some fade out to the clips and we've got a new sequence that looks like this. Mm -hmm. 